As he intensifies his war on Sahil violent extremist organizations, the Burkinabe president, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, has just acquired a dozen lethal combat drones that will be a major boost to his army's aerial vectors in their multiple contributions to the army's peace efforts within the country. A majority of the drones were developed by a Turkish company called Baykar Defense, which has had a long-standing partnership with the Burkina Army, and particularly with the Traoré administration, and their acquisition will be a game-changer in the army's fight for the reconquest of the Burkina territory. The youthful head of state received the drones on the Monday of April 8, 2024, and as he handed the entire consignment to the Ministry of Defense and Veterans, this is what he had to say about the new acquisition, which also had the famous Baykar TB2 drones. It's a joyful moment for us, and we will proceed this morning with the reception first, and then later deployment to various provisions of the defense. A certain number of these drones, consisting essentially of the Baykar TB2, this famous device that you already know. Now, there might be the novelty of the acquisition, but they have been there for a while, in the testing phase, and all the tests have been conclusive, so it is a source of pride for us this morning, to confirm that these devices are joining the fleet of the Burkinabe army. The head of state also assured that the acquisition was really an important reinforcement of his army, in the context of the reconquest of Burkina National Territory, and could not hide his confidence about the performance of the drones, which by the way we have covered in a number of our previous videos on this channel. We no longer have to present them. I think that they have proven themselves since the start of this war, and I think that the novelty is with the Hakam G, and it has surpassed its technical capabilities, even what the manufacturer had planned here. It was subjected to strong proofs of its carrying capacity, endurance, speed ceiling, performance, and in any case, it proved itself, and I think that during the test, it even participated in combat missions. So these are very efficient and reliable devices that we currently have. At the Ministry of Defense and Veterans Affairs, it's a sigh of relief. The military leader also expressed his confidence that the drones will be used wisely by his army's air vectors, and that this acquisition materializes the dynamism of cooperation between Burkina Faso and Turkey. And thus, he particularly extended his appreciation to the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, saying that today, we can say that Burkina's cooperation with Turkey is going very well. Turkey is doing very well, and this is an opportunity to thank His Excellency Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, President of Turkey, who knew how to lead this cooperation, just as required. We thank him for all the support he was able to provide to Burkina Faso during this important phase of our history in this war against terrorism. This is a kind of partnership that we need, it is healthy and sincere, and in any case, so far everything is going very well. All you see is thanks to the people who contributed so that we can acquire these devices. These devices will increase our operational capacity, that's for sure. The expansion of the fleet makes it possible to intervene in a timely manner and to have permanent surveillance. So, thank you once again to the people who understood the meaning of the fight, and I thank them especially for this contribution which allows the armed forces to be able to increase its power for the defense of our territory. As for the Burkina Minister of Defense, General Kasum Kulabali, this acquisition is part of the implementation of strategic plans for equipping the national armed forces, and it's a final phase of what was planned on in the equipment plan. Anyway, if you found this video to be interesting, leave a comment on the Sahil region, and don't forget to subscribe before leaving, because more updates on what's happening in the region are coming.